What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a video. Yay! I know it's been a little bit, and this is actually going to be my 500 subscriber special Q&A, and yes, it's a little bit late. And um, the first question will actually explain what's been going on and why I've been late. And this is actually the second game um, against Miracles. We actually played Sovereign twice. Uh, we did lose this game, but you know, it's still a pretty good game, so I wanted to bring it to you guys. So, the first question was from Goncalo Campino, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but uh, he says, like, dude, where's the Q&A video? You've been offline for five days. Come on. Okay, so, actually, it's been six days now, but that was, he sent that to me yesterday. So, here's my explanation. So, you know, for the Q&A video, I wanted as many questions as possible, and I wasn't getting a lot, so I was going to wait till Sunday to make the video. And uh, my upload schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. So I was going to wait till Sunday to make it. And Sunday rolls around and I woke up and I was feeling absolutely awful. And I told my mom that and she's like, all right, you don't have to go to church, but I'm taking your computer and your Xbox card. And I was like, okay. And then when she came back, you know, she gave it back to me. But like, I, I was bedridden from then on out for the rest of the day. Um... To, to give you an idea of how bad it was, and I had I had stomach issues going on as well with this sickness. I won't get into anything too nasty, but uh, one of the things was on the way back from the bathroom at one point, I actually passed out and hit the floor, and I, I actually busted my arm up on the way down, and it actually helped me out some because it jolted me back into consciousness for just long enough to kind of break my fall a little bit and then I kind of passed out again and it, I didn't pass out for very long it was just a few seconds I think but uh you know it was a little, it was a little bit scary but um that's that's how weak I was I wasn't even able to lift my head later like in the, in the late evening so I mean I was just absolutely awful I couldn't make the video Sunday and then yesterday or Monday um I was st still not feeling that well I was feeling better but um, I was still fairly weak, and so I kind of took the first half of the day off, and then I had to finish the uh, some of the research for the online schools and that I'm switching into and everything. So I, I had to finish with that some, and we we figured out what school I'm going into, and that'll ha be happening next week. But um, and then by the time all of that was done, and I did my regular responsibilities and everything. It was time to grind with the team, and I I had to do it, and then I just didn't have time to make the video, and I was like, well, Tuesday is my upload time anyway, so it kind of sucks because it seems like it's been a really long time, but for, I've only messed up for two days as far as not uploading along the normal schedule, so I'm, I'm sorry it's been a while, but that's the explanation. And um, so yeah, next question is also from Goncalo Campino, and it's um, I just read the whole comment or the tweet or whatever. Another great video. I play on PS3, but I think you're awesome and your videos also. But I got a question. I'm on a team right now, but I live in Portugal and they are on the east coast of New York. And like, I'm on almost every single day and they can't only on weekends and it's only two to three members. So should I leave this team or stick with it? We have really good chemistry, so I wouldn't be. So I would be much appreciated if I got an outside view in response. Stay awesome, even if you don't reply to this comment. So it. You're in a kind of crappy situation there you know I mean the the distance there the connection is not gonna work out that well if you want to go to any events it's not gonna work out unless you have sponsors the it's gonna be hard to do international flights without sponsors um, unless unless you've got a lot of money then maybe it could work out but the online play is gonna be pretty bad the time difference um, also you're on every day and they can only get on wait they they can't only only weekends. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm having to read it over again. So if they can only get on on the weekends, I unfortunately would have to say I would move on. I understand that you put in there that you have really good chemistry, but um, I, I would say move on unless there's a way to resolve it. You know, if they're like, okay, this is happening for another month or so, and then something's going to change, or we're working on something and we might be able to get on more, then maybe stick with it. But otherwise... Unfortunately, I would my my opinion would be to move on. All right, the next question is from Crunkshine One, and the comment says, "Great vids, learned a lot from your channel. Please keep them coming." My question is for GBSNDs. Do you think it's best to wait 
for the pick and get map control before planting or rush and try to get bomb down as soon as possible thanks man okay so this question i have to give two answers to um well really one answer but it, it really just depends on the situation it's very very hard sometimes to know what to do and it also depends on the bomb site and the people you're playing so if you know that the people you're playing play very passive i would rush and get that bomb down as soon as possible um if you are playing octane for example if you're doing an a rush and you haven't gotten a pick yet that's fine get that bomb down have somebody watching gas station somebody watching mechanic and somebody watching uh, the cross from pawn or restaurant and you should be fine um, other times getting the bomb down right away is not a good idea you never want to be down a man you don't want them checking bomb and killing you and then your team is down a person like that's worst case scenario so I would limit how much you rush plant however use it every now and then it's it's like a spice added on to it just occasionally use it where people don't expect it um, and of course you know if they're playing extremely aggressive I would not necessarily go for plant right away you might rush the bomb but to, to counteract their aggressiveness but don't try and get the bomb down right away because they're probably going to check it so that that's my take on that all right next question is and I believe this is actually the last question I'm not sure though but uh, from at zap fusion and it says for your Q&A how did you learn your Call of Duty skills okay so this is gonna be a little bit of a longer response um, honestly it didn't start with Call of Duty as far as getting my skills for it so uh, the, the first thing I guess would be you know reaction time uh, that actually came from more of doing a lot of sports and physical activity type things when I was younger I was very very athletic I played soccer I played football I swam uh, competitively actually for a little bit uh, I did gymnastics I did all sorts of crazy stuff for a while and I, I personally think that it made me more coordinated and I had better reaction times from that of course, playing video games also greatly increases it as well. And um, as far as some of my other Call of Duty skills, I guess going to FPS skills in general, it started with a game called Combat Arms, which I played for a while. And that is where my love for FPS games came from. And um, if you guys have never played that game, it's a computer game. It's kind of like Call of Duty except uh, there's a lot more glitches and stuff and weird little places on the maps you can get to and everything but anyway I spent um, a lot of time playing that game it was the first game I was really actually serious about I got very very good at it um, I got invited to several of the top teams or clans or whatever in that game for the zombie aspect of it there was a really really awesome zombie game mode called uh, quarantine regime and that's that's where I got most of my my love for it from and I was just so good at it it was crazy it was so much fun and that kind of spurred into Call of Duty uh, shortly after about a year after especially since my computer couldn't handle the graphics anymore so I moved on and started playing Call of Duty and basically I started out and I knew that I was gonna be bad from the beginning because you know I didn't really play console that much at the time and uh, you know I was a little bit you know worried about it and I, I just played for a little while for fun and I got used to it and then I started watching a lot of YouTube videos then from uh, just you know ba basically the bigger YouTubers like Ali A and T Martin not necessarily competitive players but pub stompers and I learned how to play pubs from them. And then moving on from that, I actually stumbled across some competitive players at some point. And I don't remember if it was a stream or a YouTube video, but um, Optic was actually the first team I stumbled across. And I started watching their stuff, and I learned a lot from them. I learned spots. I learned what kind of sensitivity to use on my c controller, all the gaming equipment, all sorts of stuff. And from there, 
I just started to to learn. Like, you know, the gun skill kind of comes naturally. You pick it up as you go. But the map awareness and everything, it takes practice. And just, I, I learned a lot from my first few teammates. Um, that That's actually where a majority came from. I learned, you know, how to communicate properly, what kind of things work and don't work, what kind of things make people mad at you necessarily, make you rage, make you not want to be on the team. Um, you know, just... All, all sorts of things relating to Call of Duty. So I attribute most of my learning to former teammates and uh, to some pro players that I watched as well. So, yeah, that's that's where most of my Call of Duty skills come from. But now what I do to improve on them is I, I know pretty much what needs to be fixed with my play style and everything. And so I, I actually, you know, just write it down and I work on it. And, uh, yeah, that, that's how I learn my Call of Duty skills. So, um, yeah, that's all the questions I got. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.